Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. This is the second part of uh, autocomplete. Now I really apologize for not telling that I'm going to stop the video because um, my video recorder just allows me 15 minutes of video recording. So I, I, I could not ex I could not say that I'm going to stop this. So uh, we'll start from uh, where we stopped in the previous tutorial. So here when I type um, H it gives me something uh, ULLI um, tags over here. Now uh, this is the result but then I don't want to alert it I just want uh, things to be written down so I'm going to delete this code over here and then I'm going to create a new div I'll give something like suggestion okay I'll give the name as uh, id as suggest and then I'll close the div now I want to place the content inside this particular variable in this div so what I'm gonna do is uh, type in dollar then type in hash suggest dot dot html msg so this will um, this will uh, print the data or the suggestions just beneath that okay so I have a uh, that data coming up so basically um, in a nutshell I mean <laughs> or in a short I can say we have created autocomplete which is um, being uh, completed see according to what I enter there but there are a couple of problems the first problem is that uh, after typing H and when I delete all the all the all the um, things in that particular input box I get the entire table as uh, the suggestion so so the first thing I have first thing that I have to do is that I don't want to call an Ajax request when there is nothing in this input box so what I do is I give an if um, if statement if input is present so if input is present then I need to make an Ajax call so that's the first thing that I want to do now I just but it's even now there are some possibilities um, that it can go for uh, an Ajax request. Uh, now, for example, if I okay, I'll refresh the page and I type in H and I type backspace. It does not give me the entire table, but then it is not fetching. Um, it is not calling Ajax. But then, um, when I type space over here, sp when I type space over here, it's going for an Ajax call. I don't want this to, so I'm gonna take this particular input and then I'm going to trim it okay input I'll type in input equals trim of input basically what this does is it will trim uh, the value okay so I'm not sure if trim is uh, actually there in JavaScript so I'll open uh, Google and type in trim JavaScript. Okay, so okay, jQuery does have a trim, so we'll uh, we'll see. Okay, okay, so there's no error now. Okay, now we'll go back um, and then refresh the page. I type in H, I have an error. So the error that I have is trim is not defined so I'll use jQuery trim itself so jQuery trim uh, the way that it works is okay dollar trim okay I'm gonna play copy paste it over here and then keep put the variable input so we'll see if it is working now then I'll go refresh the page I'll type in H okay it comes now I type backspace then I type space it is not giving uh, it is not calling another Ajax function so this means it's working mm, perfectly okay I haven't still I do have some errors so we'll see what that error is I'll type in D okay I'll backspace space okay I don't have an error so I have just um, made sure that if I, if I if there is nothing inside this um, it won't trigger an Ajax um, request and the next thing that I want to do is if this is empty then 
there should not be any result over here so in order to do that every time there is a key press I have to clear this um, suggestion box I mean the, the div ID of suggestion where all the suggestions come so I'm gonna type in dollar suggest dot HTML and then I'm gonna give some uh, I'm gonna give this uh, like this so that um, this uh, will inject um, null data into this um, ID so we'll see what's 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 the difference I type in H okay and then I have two results I delete that the whole result is gone so this is uh, we have completed so much so the next thing that uh, we want to do is uh, style this so in order to style this we will um, st will style it in firebug so the first thing that I want to do is uh, give a style for this UL okay now um, we'll open this open open style tag style and then okay we'll close the style tag and then first thing is um, UL right so UL doesn't have a class over here so I'll give a class for that so I'll come over here and I'll give a class of um, unorganized list unorganized okay, I'll give it unorganized and then I'll come over here type in unorganized so this is a class now I'm not gonna put any values over here we'll do that using firebug okay now uh, okay now the first thing that I want to do okay but then there are basic things which uh, which can be done over here now I don't want these bullets to be over here so I'll give a, a list style list style of none okay so basically what this does is it will delete all all the buttons oops it didn't go okay okay it is supposed to go but then it didn't go we'll see why then why it didn't go okay so basically the, the reason is I I have not saved uh, this particular thing okay uh, once I've saved it I'll go refresh the page and then I type in H I don't have that uh, bullet okay now I'll, I'll go to firebug um, then I'll take that okay now uh, I'm gonna give some width of say 100 pixels and then height I'm gonna give it as auto then uh, background hyphen color something like I don't know what color so I'll give it like C F C F C F okay <laughs> now I mean I don't know what color that is but then for the time being we'll be satisfied with that then there's a margin over here which I don't want so margin hyphen top as zero pixels I mean zero pixels so it becomes top okay now I just want to increase the width width slowly okay so this is um, about the width now I'm gonna copy this okay okay I want I just want to do make sure that one more thing okay now if you if you look at if you if you look at that color thing over there um, and the violet which shows over there is actually a padding which is present in UL by default so I'll give a padding I mean um, padding uh, I'll give it as zero pixels and also a margin hyphen left as zero pixels okay I'll see okay the still I do have that part padding okay the reason is that uh, the spelling of padding is wrong okay P A D D I N G padding hyphen left as zero pixel okay now I need to increase um, the width okay width is actually 147 pixels now I'll place the content in the center so text hyphen align and then center okay so we'll be satisfied with this particular style for the time being okay. control C and I'll go there this is the style I'll paste it over here 
so I have all the styling for that particular UI UL tag the next the next thing that I want to do is uh, create a styling for the li tag so I'm gonna open this okay I'll copy this and then I'm gonna type in like this and I want to select the li tags and okay I'll give a background okay Okay, never mind. We'll not do that. We'll just um, now when I mouse over on any of um, a particular input, any of a particular result, I need to have a change in the color. So uh, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to give a, a a class for the all the li tags. Okay, so I do have a class over here. So I copy that, I paste it over here, and then I will style that. Um, okay, I'll give it a hover okay now when I hover on any of the li tags which has a class of list I need a background color hyphen color of say something like pound Oof. I'll choose a color from here so uh, I'll choose uh, something like this color okay. I'll choose that for the time being and then I pa paste it over here then I go back and then refresh the page and then I type in H. Okay, nothing seems to happen. Okay, we'll 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 okay dollar list dot hover hover. So it's supposed to come. Never mind. Okay, we'll give a class like this hover. Now we'll do that uh, using JavaScript. I mean jQuery. Now the next thing that I want to do, if this, if uh, the request has properly come, if the request is a success, the next thing that I want to do is, uh, I want to make, give a class, when I hover onto this particular thing. So, or I want to give it a different background color when I hover on any of the li tags. So, the way that I'm going to do is, so I'm going to target all, um, I'm going to target the suggestion box, suggestions, the ID of suggestions, and inside the suggestions I have uh, many ul tags inside that I have many li tags now if you don't know why I've done this like this it is very simple um, I mean it is basically I'm gonna select and uh, suggest uh, um, a box an ID uh, of it suggest then I'm gonna select all the ul tags inside that then I'm gonna select all the li tags inside this ul tags and if somebody mouse overs okay I need to call a function I need to give it a background okay I'll give it a um, I'll give uh, this element I mean the currently selected element uh, a class art class of hover I'll give this a class of hover so we'll see what's gonna happen now before that I'll just make sure that all the li tags okay uh, no, I know I, I won't do that we'll refresh the page and then tap in H and I mouse over on it nothing happens so I have an error over here we'll see what the error is dollar okay this is an error dollar suggest dot function mouse over okay. uh, the mouse over spelling is not correct we'll refresh the page and we'll see what what is happening okay so I do have an, a change in color but the problem is that when I hover on this thing and then I go back then I hover on this thing uh, the first one should have uh, should have should remove that class I mean it should not have the same color so the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna copy this code over here then paste it over here and then type in remove class of the same thing I'm gonna okay I'm gonna remove all the all the all, all the class inside that particular thing so I mean this is kind of understood right so when I hover on this when 
only one gets that uh, class. I mean, the, the currently selected element get that uh, 